this is Moira Black and I'm on the scene down at City Hall where we're going to find out a bit more about the DOJ reforming. Yes, I'm James Roberts. I'm the Assistant Attorney General. Excellent. And so the DOJ is obviously been missing from the city now for a little little while and uh, I think everyone has been feeling the effects of that from you know the civilians all the way through to the criminals and the uh, PD. Um, just tell me a little bit about how you came on here and, and, and what the setting is now for the DOJ. Well myself and the Attorney General Tim Underwood uh, have been practicing law in one way or another uh, for going on about 10 years between uh, the two of us. And when we first flew in, we saw and heard that there was a big uh, hole missing. And that is the uh, legal rights of all citizens, not just uh, one side of the law or the other. And that extends into uh, the, a lot of people think that it just goes towards uh, law enforcement or criminals. It's also civil matters and things like that. And so uh, Tim and I put our heads together and we reached out to the federal government and the mayor, and, who has been amazingly supportive throughout this whole thing, uh, typed up quite a few documents outlining pretty much everything that's going to come across our desks. And uh, working with the mayor, we, we fine tuned it. We put it out to the federal government and uh, worked with them as well to make sure it was the most balanced and uh, equal uh, document to benefit all the citizens of the city. Excellent, that sounds great. Um, so so how long ago did you start on this process to uh, get, get your job and, and the DOJ uh, back up and running? Uh, Tim and I started putting ink on paper, shoot, about two weeks ago, two and a half, I wanna say. Excellent. And, uh, so it's been quite a fast turnaround, really, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it's been great. Um, you know, obviously building quite a large document that's going to cover so many different things has been the, the primary focus of us. Um, and then with the formal announcement at the uh, community meeting a couple of days ago, uh, that's that's really helped out getting everybody more comfortable with the idea. Excellent. Can, can you just tell me a bit about um, what is the process? Say there's people that are interested in in finding a place in law and want to help with the rebirth of the DOJ. What is it that you're looking for and what sort of qualifications are you looking for in your applicants in the future? Well, we're looking for uh, people with integrity, first and foremost, uh, the ability to remain unbiased. Um, in any case that may come across their desk or any situation, uh, clean uh, criminal history. And uh, we do also look into the family members a little bit, making sure there's no uh, cousins or aunties on either side of it. That way we can remain unbiased. What sort of things do you work to cover? Uh, anything from civil matters, uh, from one party to another, say uh, a vehicle sale, We'll be happy to, you know, the proxy with that and uh, be a witness and ensure that it is paid up uh, to uh, whatever extent we can in the manner of uh, court proceedings. One person is obligated to pay for goods or services. Um, and if those aren't met, we can uh, pursue that in the civil courts. Uh, also fighting for rights uh, with uh, arrests, perhaps uh Ch uh, charges were too harsh, uh, which does go against uh, the Constitution, mm. uh, making sure people know their rights, uh, what they can and cannot say, what they what should be included in an investigation versus what shouldn't be, uh, making sure their rights aren't violated uh, is probably the biggest one. And also ensuring that uh, we can get people on a uh, kind of a good faith path is, is my personal thing here, hoping that we can turn some people around uh, by working with uh, law enforcement. And I understand that there's been a lot of uh, tension between uh, the sides of the law and okay. trying to garner a, a better communication route with that. Excellent. Well, right now, uh, the mayor herself and her assistant, uh, Paloma Swinton, are usually the ones who are handling the expungements for right now. Um, we are communicating with the mayor's office as far as 
kind of a, a joint venture. That way it doesn't just fall to them. Uh, but obviously right now our main priority is making sure that uh, we start advocating for rights and making sure that people are taken care of. The after effects that the expungements are kind of falling under the mayor's office at this time. Uh, but as we grow, we get the right uh, people working for the court systems. Uh, I'm sure that it'll take some of that load off for the mayor as well. Yes. And also we, uh, we do have a section on the email list. Uh, it's the attorney's desk. You can leave us a note there and we will reach out to you uh, if none of us are available and uh, try and set up a time if that's the case. Excellent. Thank you so much for, for discussing this with us.